Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew Steele here, and I just took delivery of a 2008 Tiffin Phaeton here in uh, Fort Myers, Florida. I am about to drive it 2,000 miles to Arizona, and thought I'd share the adventure with you guys. Hope you enjoy. And I am just driving across country in my new to me 2008 Tiffin Phaeton 42 QRH. I flew to Florida to pick this coach up and I'm driving it from Florida back to Arizona right now. Uh, in this video I want to talk about why I bought this coach, why I bought a Tiffin, its exact model, why I flew to Florida to buy this coach, and tell you a little bit about my whole experience. I am in the RV industry and while I've been shopping for a coach, I've been asking all kinds of different folks in the industry what they like and don't like about their RVs and that's actually how this YouTube channel was sparked. I ended up getting so much great information from so many different people asking them about their experiences, what they've gone through, good experiences, bad experiences, cost of maintenance, cost of repairs, just a lot of the unknowns of RVing. I've been able to meet all kinds of people through my job. I detail RVs for a living. So uh, every day I'm in different RV parks, meeting RVers from all over. And a couple years ago, my good friends David and Brenda Bott with Outside Our Bubble made a YouTube video about how we wash and wax an RV. And that video actually has gotten about 64,000 views at the last time I checked it. And because of that video, all kinds of interesting uh, Tiffinos from all over has, have came for us to detail their coach. And I've gotten the opportunity to meet all kinds of people, ask them about their coaches, and um, not only Tiffins, but a lot of other companies as well. But because David and Brenda own a Tiffin Allegro bus, there are a lot of Tiffin people in their community. So I really got the down low on Tiffin. And now I'm also, while I was shopping for a new RV, I kind of knew what I wanted. I joined a lot of different owners groups on Facebook. And on those owners groups, uh, there's just tons of great information, people sharing their problems that they go through, asking other owners how to get through their problems. And with the internet and social media, there's just so much great information out there that I thought it'd be fun to use YouTube and a camera to share some of that information with the general public. So uh, if that's something that you enjoy, like, subscribe this channel. I'm gonna be coming out with a lot more videos about my whole experience of owning this coach. Any problem that I go through with this coach, there will be a YouTube video made. What the problem is, uh, how I got, got through it, who fixed it, how much it cost me. What's up everybody? I told you that I'd let you know uh, any problems that I had. Well, I haven't even made it home yet and I've got my first problem. I've got a chip in the windshield here. And I am out here getting it repaired right now. Fortunately, I've got a good friend uh, that's got the uh, top of the line kit here. And we are gonna get this repaired right away. With the big windshield like this, you don't wanna take any chances with a chip. You wanna get it fixed immediately to prevent it from cracking out. There's just so many unknowns. And the more you prepare yourself, the better off you are when you do go through those unknowns. If you know someone that's already been through that situation, it's so much better than going into it blind. Now, I have three or four of my good buddies that I've developed relationships in my last 11 years in the RV industry own Tiffin Phaetons. So I have really gotten the lowdown uh, on Tiffin Phaetons and I'm really excited to buy this coach. The reason I chose a 2008 Tiffin Phaeton, uh, one of the big reasons is, is first cost. This coach has already taken its depreciation. I think this coach new in 2008 was close to $300,000 new. Um, I bought it, I, I haggled all over the country. This coach had 37,000 miles on it. 450 hours on the generator, new knee-deep Michelin tires on it with uh, late-date coats. 
it's real important when you're checking tires to check the date codes to see how new they actually are. I flew into Florida and the selling price of this coach after a lot of haggling was $106,495. Now, I probably could have found a cheaper Tiffin Phaeton, the same vintage on the market, but I really like that this coach was low mileage, 08 Tiffin Phaeton, kind of exactly what I was looking for. It has the tag axle, so it'll be a little more steady when I'm towing. It's got the Cummins 360 with 1,050 foot-pounds of torque, the Allison 3000 transmission, or Spartan chassis, just all of the, of the equipment that I'm looking for. And to be able to buy this coach after it's depreciated, I felt like it was a really good value. And the other part of that is Tiffin. I've spoke to probably three dozen people that have told me they have Bob Tiffin's personal cell phone number in their phone. They can call Bob if they have a problem. They can get parts from Tiffin. A lot of Tiffin owners are uh, very happy to share a lot of their information. Um, so that's another thing is the whole Tiffin Network. They make a ton of coaches. It's one of the top selling RVs in the country. So resources to get stuff fixed when you need is there. And I was looking at some other, you know, not so popular well-built coaches, but getting parts for some of these systems, especially on older coaches that have already taken the depreciation, can be a little bit tricky. So I steered away from a few other coaches for that reason and stuck with the Tiffin because the RB conversion is gonna be easier to work on. Some of the other reasons I chose this coach, uh, why I flew to Florida. It was the cleanest coach in the country. My RV salesman was a straight shooter, gave me a good deal. I probably paid in the middle of NADA, which is definitely not wholesale, but you know, the RV dealers have to make their money and I am happy with the coach and uh, happy with, uh, with how it turned out. So I'm back in Arizona. I made it across country, 2,500 miles. Did a little zigzagging around to visit some old friends, uh, which was a really cool part of the whole journey uh, to be able to have my own living quarters. I didn't have to crash on any friends' couches or anything. I've got my own, uh, my own place. And uh, it was so cool to be able to just pull over at a rest stop, uh, go take a shower, take a nap, sleep, without ever exiting the vehicle and um, getting some rest and getting cleaned up and then uh, firing up that diesel motor and just going down the road again. It was a really cool experience. I can't wait to take some more trips in this coach. Uh, seamless journey back. Diesel fuel wasn't cheap and I caught one stone outside of Abilene, Texas uh, and had to get a windshield chip repaired. Uh, but other than that, it was, it was a great journey back. I'm really happy with the purchase. Um, the 2008 Tiffin Phaeton 42 QRH got 2,500 miles under its belt now without any problem. So I will uh, definitely let you know the whole journey, share those experiences with you. So if you want to uh, follow my journey, please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, look forward to sharing more content with you. Safe travels.